Sukiyaka Sosha. Oh, yeah, where's our music? I forgot. Spice fish, spice fish. Some Japanese Stripping that in thin. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's not crackling. No, it is. It's it's flavored. It's flavored like, to look like that. Yeah. It tastes like that. Yeah. And so that's why it's a more uh, cost-effective option <laughs> for it. <laughs> <laughs> cost-effective, right? Option for it. And so you all, you ladies, can fill it with whatever flavor profiles you want to fill it with. Jasmine has her set up here. She has the cream cheese, avocado, salmon. And cucumber. So you all have cream cheese, you have smoked salmon, you have a little uh, crab salad, and then you have your artificial crab as well to work with with the, all your vegetables. And also, I love kimchi. Yes, oh. kimchi. I'm going to say that because I'm still not had kimchi like straight. Oh, yeah. It's a spicy though. It's overly spicy. It's kimchi. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was like. I, I thought it was a spicy cabbage. <laughs> Yeah, it's fermented and it's very good for your health, very good for digestion, any type of fermented food. And so we, and I think when I look at a culture, I look at how the longevity of that culture. And so we think a lot about people that eat from that region of Asia. They have a lot of longevity. They have a lot of vitality. And a lot of it has to do with what and how they eat. A lot of fermented vegetables, a lot of fish, grains, those types of things sustain us vegetables. All right, so the first roll is the most important. We're going to make it over the top of there, all right? So when you're filling it, don't get excited and overstuff it, okay? I cut mine shorter, but if you do want a bigger roll, you're going to use the whole sheet, okay? So we're going to take that first roll. I'm just going to simply come over it. And you see, I'm lifting this up here, right? So I'm not rolling necessarily. I'm taking it there. I'm lifting here, and I'm tucking that. You see what I'm doing? So now, I'm just giving it a little squeeze just to make sure it's secure. Now, I'm pulling my mat over and letting it roll. So I'm not necessarily rolling it. It's more of a pull, pull kind of a tuck. Make sure everything is secure on there. Keep rolling it. You just roll it out until you finish, right? Finally got my, my little lesson, so I'll be right back. <laughs> 